around, but for the most part, we are dry. Those clouds, again, are just some puffy white cumulus clouds. They're not going to mean anything for rain for us, but temperatures are also backing down a little bit out there, too. Most of us right now are sitting in the upper 70s to lower 80s. We get down more near McDowell and uh, Wyoming County, if you see those 80s popping back up. Most of us right now are sitting in the 70s across the region, so not too bad. Dew points have also backed off quite a bit. Most of us are sitting at those right around the upper 50s to lower 60s, so definitely a lot drier out there than we've seen the last couple of days, and that's going to continue more later in the week, but first we have a little bit of rain to get through tomorrow first. So radar right now, fairly quiet out there through all that dry air. When we take a step back, we notice pretty much the whole mid-Atlantic section of the United States is seeing that too. A couple lingering showers up in Pennsylvania from what's left of that low that was Tropical Storm Fay earlier this week. Now we do have quite a bit, some changes coming. Most of us right now, so here's that low up, up sitting over upstate New York right now and a stationary front that's going to begin to kind of dissipate over the next couple of days here. By tomorrow, we're going to see another cold front begin to work itself out of the Great Lakes region and start working its way towards us. Now, that's going to help increase our rain chances just a little bit. You're going to see some showers and storms tomorrow. And that's going to work its way out of the area throughout the day on Monday. So we could see a couple pop-up showers Monday morning as you get ready to head out to work to start your week. But for tonight, shouldn't see much in the way of rain for the rest of the night tonight. Could see a couple clouds out there, but most of that should dry up. By daybreak tomorrow. Now we are going to see some heavier showers and storms push through tomorrow afternoon. Most of them should be in the afternoon to evening hours. And again, we are going to look at some possibilities of seeing some strong downpours in some of those storms too. And then, of course, we go through the rest of the night. Those should be in the taper back off, but we still could see a possible pop up shower or two as we go on through the day into Monday. Now we are under a marginal risk for some severe weather for tomorrow, but don't worry about that. Most of it's just for some strong gusty winds and may, if we even see those at all. And again, possibly some very minor flooding if we get in those heavier downpours. So obviously there's a marginal flood threat as well for the entire viewing area. So again, these are not really big things to worry about. Nothing really to talk about severe wise. Just again, a couple little strong cells could be out there. And again, rainfall totals looking throughout the day tomorrow about maybe at half an inch at most, maybe close to a little bit closer to an inch if you get down toward portions of McDowell County down there. But other than that, should be fairly nice. The rest of the night tonight, looking at mostly clear conditions, high lows tonight should be right around the mid-60s for most of us. Tomorrow we're going to warm up to about 80 degrees once again. We're going to keep those afternoon showers and storms around, but we are going to begin to see those drying conditions hit by Monday afternoon as we see those warmer conditions begin to back off a little bit as we go into Monday and Tuesday. But of course the warm weather does return for Wednesday and Thursday before rain returns on Friday.